In this video, I'm going to present you the location of all the components which you can see in the engine bay from this BMW 1 Series F20. All right, so let's start from the driver's side and under this plastic cover, we're going to find the ABS unit with the ABS pump, also the brake booster unit and the brake fluid reservoir. The windshield wiper motor is going to be under this plastic cover here. We've got here the high pressure line for the refrigerant, the pressure sensor. This is the return line. Here we have the coolant reservoir, two hood or bonnet lockers on each side. And this is the cable which comes from the cabin. On the side here we've got the turbocharger unit and attached to it we've got the first oxygen sensor. The turbocharger is composed of the cold side, the hot side. The hot side will be attached to the exhaust manifold. The air will be sent further through this pipe into the intercooler which is down there. And the air will come back through this side further into the intake manifold which is located under here. We've got here an air pressure sensor and a temperature air sensor. This, the throttle body is located right here. And then we've got another MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor. Here we have the turbocharger switch. Here we have the blow by valve. Here on the air filter housing we have the mass airflow sensor. Now if you follow these lines you're gonna see that somewhere under here we're gonna find the turbocharger actuator solenoid. This is the line through which the air is released from the turbocharger, is connected here and on the other side we've got here a check valve. Here we have some more wiring harnesses which all of them comes from the computer. The computer is installed on top here. Down here we've got the serpentine belt which will spin basically four pulleys. This is the crankshaft pulley, the AC compressor and the alternator here. This is the tensioner and here we've got an interesting system. We've got a second tensioner which will basically engage and disengage the water pump. So the control is done through this connector here. I like to call this as a semi-electric water pump. So that's a overcomplicated system, but I guess this is the part of the evolution in cars. Here we have the oil filter cap. Now under here we're gonna find the injectors, the fuel rail, and the fuel line which comes from the fuel pump. Now back there we've got the high pressure fuel pump which is kind of hidden in there. We've got the fuel line which comes from the regular fuel pump and then the high pressure fuel pump is attached to the intake camshaft. Obviously we're gonna find the fuel pressure sensor somewhere under there. So we've got here the coil packs. Under the coil packs we've got spark plugs. These are the camshaft position sensors. The oxygen sensor number one connector and this is the oxygen sensor number two connector. Here on the passenger side we've got a control panel. This connector is for the injectors because this car is direct injected. This connector is going to be for the vent valve for the fuel tank. Positive side 12 volt delivery line which comes from the power distributor which is in the trunk. I'm going to show you in a minute. Under this cover we've got the fuse box. Here we've got the positive side of the car battery and here we've got the negative side or whatever around the chassis. It can be here, here. Here we have the windshield washer fluid. So now let's go under the car and see a couple of more components. All right, so from under the car, we can see the intercooler. From here, we can get access to the electric power steering and the power steering rack. Here is the oil pan and there we've got the manual transmission. You can get access to the throttle body as well from here. Jet sensor number two. We've got the engine mounts here. They are full of lubricant. Here you can see the flywheel and therefore next to the flywheel we've got the starter motor. Right here you get access to this wire which delivers 12 volts, the positive side. So yeah, that's pretty much it under the car here. Now under this cover in the trunk we've got a fuse box right there. We've got the 12 volt battery right there. And as I said, a power distributor. That line comes from the battery obviously. And that bottom line which connects there will go inside the engine bay. So that's pretty much it in the trunk. Now the fuel pump is located under this rear seat. You can see the fuel pump cap there. Now under the glove box you're gonna find the cabin air filter. Some cars you're gonna find the fuse box. And on the driver's side we're gonna find the OBD2 port here and the hood release which you need to open it two times. Okay guys so these are pretty much all the components you can see on this car. Thanks for watching, take care and I will see you in the next video.